Hello, my name's Naomi and I am a witch, I'm sorry, a librarian at Falker Community Trust Libraries. Now, it's Halloween's coming up and we have some absolutely magical children's books and I'm going to share some of my absolute favourites with you. Now, first off, in my cauldron of mischief and mayhem, is this amazing book, it's Nick Sharrett, What's in the Witch's Kitchen? Now, this one is quite interactive, so if you've got little children whose fingers want to touch things, this is a really good one. So we have, what's brewing in the witch's kitchen? Open it left, open it right. It might be dreadful, but it might be right. And we've got strawberry tea, or, oh, nasty goblins wee. Now this book is absolutely filled with lots and lots of surprises. And it's really, really good if you've got children or a, a group of children and they can guess and chant along with you. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, the next book I've got is an absolute classic. We have Winnie the Witch by Corky Ball and Valerie Thomas. Now, who doesn't like Will Winnie the Witch with her stripy tights and hairy legs? She's an absolute icon. Now, she has a little cat here called Wilbur, and she, she, she's a bit calamitous. She makes all kinds of mistakes, so I can kind of relate to that. And children absolutely love the adventures that her and Wilbur get into. The illustrations are bright, they're colourful, and she's just lovable. So I would highly recommend Winnie the Witch. Now, there's a whole series of these. She gets into all kinds of adventures with a pumpkin that turns into a helicopter. Um, all different ones, so highly recommend Winnie the Witch. Now, another good one is Hubble Bubble Granny Trouble. So if you've ever, if you are a child and you think that your grandmother might be a witch, this is the book for you. Lovely illustrations, nice cauldrons, but in a really modern setting. Absolutely amazing rhyming book. And it's got 16 cats and frogs and 30 bats. Really, really good fun. Absolutely amazing. Now this next one is more suitable for younger children and it's called One Scary Night. Now, as you can see, we've got a big hole in the book, which is great because then the children can have a little more interactive time. So they could be a jingly jangle skeleton, or perhaps they want to be oh, a fat rat. I wonder what the good else they can be. Oh, a huge hungry spider, nom, nom, nom. And you can imagine that a child of any age would thoroughly enjoy tormenting their adults with this, so highly recommend. And now we have an absolute classic as my final book, Funny Bones. Now, what's not to love about a little doggy skeleton on the front chomping a bone? And they have all kinds of adventures, and there's a family. There's different books, there's Mystery Tour, Dinosaur Dreams, Bumps in the Night. And the nice thing about these books is they're easier to read because it's white writing on black color. So if you have a child who's not quite able to read the other books, they might respond to this one a little bit easier. But you can see the adventures. Nice bones. Oof. And it makes it more personable. It's an absolutely fantastic book. So um, get down to your local library and I hope you enjoy some great magical books. Bye.